Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Hound's Tooth Stitch. This is actually one of my favorite stitches. Now those pictures you saw, you saw right there at the beginning of the video are projects and that I have made out of the Hound's Tooth Stitch and I have tutorials for all those. So if you're interested in looking at the tutorials, um, they are all below. The links to those will be below in the description box and on the screen and in the comment section. So those are things that I've made out of the Hound's Two Stitch. This time I'm just gonna show you, if you're a beginner, maybe you're a beginner and you just wanna learn the basics, you're not ready to make a hat or anything like that yet, or uh, I'll show you how to do this. Now it's actually a very easy stitch and it's always my favorite when it's done in the classic black and white. Of course, you can use any yarn you want, but if you're interested, I'm using Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn, which is, which is a medium four weight yarn. This is the metallic black, and I'm also using it in the metallic white. Now this is just for my sample piece. If you're interested in the other projects, the yardage that you need for those will be in the tutorials. So let's go ahead and start off. So as I mentioned, it is a very uh, beginner friendly stitch, yet it has a very, very gorgeous outcome. I love it. In fact, I think I might be making something else with it soon. So what we're going to do is we are going to start off with a slip knot on our hook, as always. Now I'm using a J hook if you're interested. Of course, uh, you would want, if you want to use one of my tutorials that I showed you, you'd want to use the hook that I used in those. Um, I can't remember right at the moment what they are. Okay, so for the house to stitch, it's done in a chain of any odd number. So you can chain as many as you want, as long as it's done in an odd number. So for this particular swatch here, I chained 21. Okay, so 21 stitches is what I chained. Remember, any odd number will work. So what we're gonna do, it's a very, very easy repeat. We are going to do a one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So we do not count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, in the second stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And now we will do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then a single into the next. And a double into the next. And this is what we are going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. Single crochet and double crochet. Single crochet and double crochet all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, you should end in a double crochet. All right, I am coming to the end. In my last stitch, I just did a single. I have one stitch left. Will um, is going to be a double crochet. I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to show you how to carry your colors with you each row. Now, it does take more yarn to do that. But then again, I think it makes a cleaner edge on it. Some of my videos, I carry my yarn and some of them I don't. You will notice. Now, if you prefer to clip off that's fine, you can do that. Otherwise, I'm at my last stitch, so what I'm gonna do is double crochet, but I'm only gonna do half of it. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna go into that last stitch, and I'm gonna pull up my loop for my double crochet, and I'm gonna go through the first two loops on my hook. I'm gonna drop my black, and I'm gonna pick up my next color, which is white that I'm using. And then I am going to pull it through the remaining two loops on my hook, like that. So, we got our tail from our white, and we got our black here. So, we want to take our white, our main white here, not the tail, the main one. Hold everything tight together. You want to chain one and turn your work. Now, at the same time, I'm going to hide this tail of the white and I'm also going to carry my main strand of black all the way across with me. That way I won't be clipping off 
um, at the end of every row. If you prefer, if you prefer to clip off at the end of every row, um, that's fine. You will have more tails to hide. So I got my main black and the tail to my white. So now I'm going to start off row two. Row two is actually the repeat row. It's always the same now, except for we just switch colors at the end of every row. So in the very, very, very first stitch, we want to do a single crochet. Make sure you grab that black strand and that white tail. This is the only um, row that you'll have to carry that white tail. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And I'm going to repeat that. It's kind of like the previous row. Single crochet into the next. And you can see I'm carrying my black and my white tail. And then a double crochet into the next. Single crochet into the next row, or in the next stitch, I'm sorry, and double crochet into the next. And this is what we're gonna repeat all the way to the end. Single crochet, and double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and clip off that white tail because we don't need it anymore. I've crocheted it in far enough. There. Now he's out of the way. Now the only thing we'll be carrying now is our main strands, whether it be black or white. So right now I'm carrying the black. So I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. And double into the next. And I'm going to repeat this, carrying that black, black yarn with me until I get to the end. And again, you should end and a double crochet. So I'll meet back up with you when we get to that last double crochet. And we'll switch colors again. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two. What I wanna do is take my black yarn and kind of give it a little stretch. It'll probably curl up your piece, but then just lightly straighten it out. That way it makes it clean and there's no bubbles of black yarn sticking out. So I'm at my last stitch now. I'm going to do a double crochet into the last stitch, but I'm going to switch back over to the black. So I'm going to yarn over with the white, go into the last stitch, draw up a loop, go through the first two loops. I'm going to drop that white, pick up the black, and finish going through the other two loops with the black, like that. There we go. Now we're going to repeat row two for row three. So I will take my black and I will chain one and turn my work. So now I'm going to be carrying my white along with me. So I'll pull it to the front and into the very, very first stitch. I'm going to single crochet. Make sure you grab that white that we're carrying along with us like that. And then I'll double crochet into the next. Always make sure that you're grabbing the yarn that you're carrying with you so it doesn't stick out. Every once in a while, I give it a little bit of a tug. That way it stays nice and flat. That's what you want it to do. You don't want it popping out. Single crochet. And then double crochet. You see how I'm grabbing that white yarn? I'm just taking it right with me. It's just like I'm hiding a tail, except for I'm just carrying all the way across. Single crochet and double crochet and now i'm going to take that white tail and give it a little bit of a tug there we go keep it nice and straight and flat so you ain't so it doesn't pop out on the other side single double single double all the way to the end of the row and again you should end in a double crochet so we're just repeating what we did for row two and we're going to repeat row two that's the repeat row see how easy this is think of the color that you can use for this uh baby blankets you could do pink and white or 
uh, blue and white or yellow and white or any color. You know, it's, I love the classic black and white, but the possibilities are endless for color combinations for the hound's tooth. It really is a very simple yet elegant stitch. All right, I'm coming to the end here. I'm still carrying my white yarn with me. Okay, I got single crochet. I got one stitch left. So again, I'm going to give my white a tug. Pull it straight. Now I'm going to switch colors again, just like we did before. So I want to double crochet into the last stitch. Drop a loop. Go through those first two loops. Drop that black. Pick up my white that I carried all the way across. And go through those last two. Chain one and turn. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you turn. And repeat. So I'm going to carry my black with me now. The same way that I just carried my white. It's the same thing. So I'll pull it to the front. Turn my work. And again, always, always start with a single crochet. Into the first stitch. Make sure you carry your... You picked up that black yarn. Just carry it like you're hiding a tail all the way across. And then you double into the next. Single. And double. Single. And double. All the way across. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep, keep this up. Pull on that black a little bit. And so we get to our desired length. I am, remember, that's it. You just keep repeating this. Single, double, single, double. Every row will start with a single crochet and every row will end with a double crochet. But if you take a peek at it, it looks a little different on both sides, I think. Just a little bit. I consider the black to pop more on this side and the white to pop more on this side. But really, there's not much difference in it. But I like both sides just as equal. Very, very pretty stitch. So that's it. That's my tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along if you're a beginner. <clears throat> if you are advanced, I still hope you were able to follow along and... Um, remember, I'm going to put links to all those uh, tutorials that I have done using this beautiful stitch. Some of them, I will be using it in the round. Um, some of it, I will carry my yarn. And some of them, I'll clip my yarn. So if you want to make any of that stuff, remember, links to them will be below in the description box and in the comment section. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. I have lots of yarn unboxings and yarn reviews, yarn talk. And don't forget to check out my family vlog channel also. If you like that, I'll put a link below uh, or up on the screen right now so you can check that out. And I'll also put a link to all my videos so you can check them out too. I appreciate, appreciate everybody watching and have a good day.